What's going on guys, this is the Full Stack Bro here coming at you with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the first developer job, right? Your first ever job as a developer, what to expect. If you just got landed a job as a developer, congratulations, that's great, right? Because the, the tech job market is cooked. <laughs> it's cooked right now. And you are able to squeeze your way in and get that job, that's awesome. I'm here to tell you guys like what to expect. And it's not everything that you think it might be. It'd probably be like super chill. There's no like major stress going on, but here's what it's gonna be like as your first developer job. So my first job ever as a developer was a web designer. It was for a small company that manufactured DVDs and they were selling those DVDs on a website. So I had to maintain their website, which was a shopping cart. Right? People could go to their website, they could pick what DVDs that they wanted. They could, you know, add in their payment information, all their basic personal information to ship things out. I was expecting like, okay, like I'm just gonna be working on websites and all that stuff. I had to make sure I get there early and all that. But it was like an hourly job and the boss was pretty chill like wasn't really like strict on like you need to get here on time you need to do this do that i could set my own hours it was pretty dope it was pretty nice um and i would help with packaging stuff like shipping things out doing a lot of cool stuff but my first day as a web designer was just coming in talking with the boss about what I was gonna be doing, what websites I was gonna be managing, what changes we were gonna be making, having meetings around um, SEO optimization. So search engine optimization for people that don't know, that's what you would do to a website to get it into search rank ranking. So like if you're in the top, if you're on the, the first page, that's great. But like the position of where that uh, website would list. So if it's the first or second link, that's great. If it's on the first page, that's even better. All right. So working on SEO optimization, working on how to pretty much like set up a website, how to set up a payment system on the website to take in credit card payments, having the product descriptions correct, all that stuff. So like I did that every single day and it was a cool experience. Then they jumped into like 3D TVs and they were going to pivot from there. So I had to help them configure that. Um, but mostly what you're going to be doing is just learning what's going on on the job and what you need to do right? If that's fixing bugs, if that's building like a whole new website or maintaining it, what's the priority? And you're going to have meetings to go over that. Understanding the system, like what, it, what technologies that they're using, what they need, all that stuff is what you're going to be doing first. Now, as a software developer, that was a, it was a completely different. So we were doing Scrum, doing agile sprints, right? So basically every, every other week we would have a sprint and then those sprints, we will have bugs that we're going to be working on or new features that we're going to be building. And then we estimated when that was going to be completed. So whenever we do finish a sprint, we would demo what we did, what got fixed, go over what went right, what didn't go right, all that stuff, and just have a collaboration in terms of what could be better. Um, and then also pull in uh, bugs that needs to go into the next sprint and really prioritize that so you can keep continuously work on different things. Another thing is just doing meetings one on one with your manager. Uh, that's that's going to be prevalent for depending on the size of the company. If it's a startup, you could definitely going to be doing one on ones. If not, then you're going to be doing team meetings a lot. So be prepared for that. Onboarding process is going to be just learning the system. Like I said, you're going to be learning a lot about the system, how to get your environment set up. Um, there's going to be documentation for that. I hope there's documentation for that for wherever you're working. If it's not too detailed, then it should be like you're working with a programmer. They're going to set you up, get your environment set up, and you should be good to go. Honestly, I was very surprised when I first started because I was like, I was expecting just to be coding a lot and really like having the luxury of working from home a lot and all that stuff. The last company I worked for, it, like I had to be in the office every single day, every single day. I work remotely now and it's been great. And there's some pros and cons with that. And I'll probably create another video to discuss that. But basically, um, depending on what you're going to be doing, if you're working remote, you're going to be on a lot of meetings. Everything's going to be face to face and you're going to start to code and you're going to start to create pull requests and you're going to assign people to those pull requests. Usually it's a senior developer, tech lead. They look at your code. They'll provide feedback, you make changes and then they approve it. It goes into the branch for testing and you should be all set. So the biggest takeaways though, is that your first job is gonna, is all gonna be for learning. You're gonna be learning a lot, okay? 
is not going to be the end all be all. If you want it to be because you're set, if you're working for like the top fan companies out there and you want to stay there long, then yeah. Okay. That's what you're going to do. But, um, it's all about learning. You're going to be learning as much as you can, especially as a beginner, learning, learning, learning. That's it. The more you learn, the more valuable you will be, the more trained you will be, the more you will understand processes and understanding, you know, what works, what doesn't work and actually providing valuable feedback for certain things. That's a hard lesson that I had to learn is that spending time learning how to code, actually applying it and saying I don't know something when I didn't know it and not act like I could solve the problem and really do the research and have this ego like, yeah, I could solve this. That's something that I had to really step away from and really just be like, you know what, if we need to get something done, let me reach out to somebody. And that will save you so much time, so much time. So when it comes to your first job, leave that ego to the side, right? If there's something that you are confident with solving, solve it. Take constructive criticism as like, not as something that is knocking you down, but also it's, it's helping you grow. If you're writing something and you get a pull request with a bunch of edits on it, don't take it as face value. Don't be mad about it, right? Be happy that you actually got that feedback and that's gonna help you be a better programmer so you can do the same thing back. It's not all about programming at the end of the day. A lot of it is just coding and you're gonna be getting things done, but it's all about collaboration, working with your team. If you work with a team that has a great culture, right? There's no egos, you're pretty much working together just for just to go and just build on one common goal, right? Get things done, you're gonna have the best time. And if you're able to have conversations with your coworkers and have fun, that's even better. The first job is gonna be great. You're gonna be learning a lot. This is the time to learn as much as you can, bro. As much as you can. Don't just sit there. If there's, some, if there's a language that you don't know that's part of the tech stack, learn it. You know, take the time to, to gain as much value as possible and it's going to transition you to other do jobs if you choose to move up. All right. So that's it, guys. That's the video. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Let me know how your first job is and what did you expect and what was the reality of it? Right. And we can have a fun collaboration around our first jobs and talk about the good, the bad, the ugly and go from there. All right. We'll talk soon.